Hello guys, welcome to Learn City. I'm Austin, your English tutor. Today, we're going to be looking at past questions and answers on phrasal verb. Phrasal verb is a collection of expression that comprises verb and preposition of verb and adverb as it may be. Examples of phrasal verbs are switch off, switch on, put down, put up, round off, round up. All these expressions mean different things. Now to switch off is to turn off. To switch on is to turn on. To take out is to do what? Guess. Is it that to extinguish a fire? Or to kill somebody? So all these expressions do not mean the same thing. Let us go on. Question 1. Many workers were dashed as a result of the textile closure. Which of these options fits the expression above? Is it A, lay down? B, laid off? C, laid out? Or D, laid up? This question is question 80 of 2012 past question. Give it a try. The correct answer then is option B, to lay off. To lay off is to sack somebody. So the workers were sacked due to the textile closure. It cannot be option A because Lay down is to lie down on a surface. It can even be option C because option C says laid out. So laid out is to spread. Option D says laid up. So laid off is a perfect phrasal verb that fits this expression because it means to sack, to let go of the workers. Let us go on to the next question. Question 2. I wonder how he will dash for being absent for school for a long time. How he will? A. Do you think it's making? B. To make up. C. To make off. D. To make out. Which of this option befits the expression above. This question is question 79 of 2011 past question. So give it a try. The correct answer then is option B. How he will make up for being absent the correct answer then is option B, which says, I wonder how he will make up for being absent from school for a long time. B is correct because make up has to do with catching up of the activities that have been going on during his absence, which means catching up of the activities that have been going on during his absence. Let's go to the next question. Question 3. Bola takes Dash his father both in appearance and his manner. Both in appearance and in manner. Question number 3. Bola takes Dash his father both in appearance and in manner. Do you think it's A. 
takes on B takes from C take after D take upon this is question 7 to 6 of 2016 past question now what do you think is the correct phrasal verb for this expression do you think it is A take on or B take from or C take after or D take upon why not give it a try the correct answer is take after to take after is to resemble to take on is to either digest or put on something to take from is to collect and it's not take upon because unfortunately take after is the correct phrasal verb for the expression because it shows that Bola resembles his father. Question 4. I could understand how she slept dash the uproar. What do you think is the correct phrasal verb for this expression? A. How she slept through. How she slept on. How she slept off. How she slept among. This is question 48 of 2017 question. Why not give it a try? The correct answer then is option A. How she slept through the opera. It cannot be slept on because opera is not a concrete substance that one can sleep on to sleep on is to lie down on a particular surface but then sleeping through the opera says that despite the noise or the hula baloo that was going on at that moment she slept soundly like a baby let's go to the next question question five when you finished using the telephone, please hang dash A. Hang down B. Hang up C. Hang off D. Hang on This question is question 56 of 2021 past question Why not give this a try? The correct answer then is option B. Please hang up. Hang up. To hang up is to disconnect. To hang down is to be placed upside down. To hang off is to, is to be put in a cliff. Neither will it be option D that says hang on because to hang on means you have to wait patiently until the other caller responds. Question 6. You have been absent from classes for four months. How can you dash for the lost time? A. How can you make in? B. How can you make up? C. How can you make out? D. How can you make over? This is question 47 of 1980 past question. Now give it a try. The correct answer is option b how can you make up for the lost time to make up for the lost time what do you think it is 
is to catch up on whatever had been carried out or done in the past.